which this clique of new colonialist conspirators are doing to our country. At the bidding of their overseas new colonialist masters, they are dismantling the work of 15 years. They are telling you that Ghana is bankrupt. They are telling you that our country is in debt to the extent of some 240 million pounds. What fools they are. How ignorant for them to think that we believe these stupid lies. Open your eyes and look around you. See for yourself. See the splendid new Tama Harbour. See the mighty water dam. See the fine roads which we have built under the leadership of the Convention People's Party and its government. See the schools, the colleges and the universities. See the clinics, hospitals, health centers and the facilities which we have created. See the factories which are already springing up. These are no debts. These are not debts. They are investments in our future as an independent nation. These are the physical guarantees of the bright new future which I have promised you and I have been working for. Together, we can put our Ghana firmly and squarely on its own feet. Together, we can create the things we need for ourselves instead of going cap in hand for charity handouts from foreign powers whose only wish is to exploit us and make us vassals to their interests. I know these are hard and trying days for you. I have never tried to conceal from you that real independence, that is to say economic independence, does not come without hard struggle and sacrifice. Unlike the cheats and deceivers, the liars and traitors who are now trying to lord it over you, I have never promised you any easy road. I have respected your good sense, your capacity for work, your pride in yourselves, and your sense of national dignity. Why do you think these traitors, these agents and lackeys of colonialism and of international intrigue to destroy the independence of Ghana, chose this moment to perform their dastardly act?